First off, I'm going to apply heat protectant all over my sister's hair. Now I'm going to grab my paddle brush and I'm just going to brush her hair to distribute the product. Now I'm going to grab two strands near the front of her head and I'm going to twist it like so together. And as I'm twisting, I'm going to pick up hair from the bottom strand and I'm just going to incorporate it into the twist all the way, just like so. And if you're a little bit confused, there is a video right there and you can click the link and I actually explain it better there. So that might help you out a bit. You can pause this video and watch it for a sec. Now if you want this to be more of a side do, you can continue to twist this all the way to the other side of your ear. But I'm just going to stop a little bit past halfway. And then I'm just going to grab a hair tie and I'm going to tie the two strands together. Now I'm going to continue and do the exact same thing to the other side of her hair, just grabbing two strands and twisting it, incorporating hair into one of the strands only. And I'm going to twist it all the way till it reaches the other one. Finally, I'm going to remove the hair tie and I'm going to tie the hair all together. Now I'm just going to pull it loose a bit and I'm going to make a hole like so and I'm just going to take the ponytail and I'm going to loop it right inside the hole. And as you can see this will make the twist more defined. Now I'm going to grab my Amika curling iron and I'm going to curl all the hair. This will make the next process really easy. So just curl the entire ponytail. So when you're all done, your curls should look like this. And what I'm going to do next is grab some bobby pins, preferably ones that's the same color as your hair. And I'm just going to take one of the strands and I'm just going to pin it where the twist is. And hide the bobby pin. And then I'm going to do the same thing with all of her hair. So just position them everywhere. And if your hair is long, then you might want to twist it like this just to shorten the length of the hair. Now if I were to do this hairstyle on myself, I would make this more of a side do and put the loop right near the side. That way I can see where I'm pinning my curls and where they look good at. Now when you get to the end of your hair, start pinning the curls at the bottom as well. You don't have to put them all at the top. So I'm just placing some at the bottom like so. And next you want to grab some hairspray and spray your curls in place. And of course I always accessorize just stick in flowers right at the top. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I will talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.